just a big advice with anything in life. You need to work hard and be patient to get anything you want. Sometimes there are ways that things just happen naturally. But sometimes there's a way that you're like fighting to get what you want and do not give up. So in this video, we're going to talk all about that and how that's going to help you be successful in CRNA school. So keep watching. My name is Christina. Welcome to a new video. I am currently in Kauai, Hawaii. Kauai, Hawaii. It is called the Garden Island of Hawaii. It is beautiful. It is lush as well as it rains a lot. So I am here to, of course, be here in Hawaii, enjoy some time with my family, as well as be here on YouTube to educate you, motivate you, and allow you to be the strongest applicant to be successful, to be accepted into CRNA school. So let's get right into it. Like I said, my name is Christine and I am here on Thrive CRNA YouTube channel. I'm here to motivate you, inspire you to be become a CRNA, as well as if you are currently a CRNA, definitely help you with career tips and secrets to allow you to be strong and powerful when you are a CRNA. Now, definitely click subscribe, definitely subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. When you think about CRNA school, you need to think about ICU nursing, when you think about being a person that really wants to be a professional in the medical field, you need to work hard. Things sometimes doesn't happen so easily. You always hear these stories, oh, this person, they went to CRNA school, they went to ICU, then they, they graduated and they went right into the ICU and then they went right into CRNA school. That's not the reality of every person. And even that person who did had an easier road, you don't know from their personal experiences what they really actually went through. You're only hearing the good things, not the negative. And that's okay. But you have to remind yourself to focus on you. Focus on how strong and powerful you can be in your life. And for me, I love motivating. I love educating. I love being here for people every day. And I know I'm not able to be right next to you, but I'm here to motivate you digitally on YouTube and help the masses. So when you think about becoming a CRNA, what do I mean by working hard? So you're gonna have to remind yourself, it's gonna be a long road to, in order to become a CRNA, but as a temporary sensation, it's a temporary feeling because permanent is gonna be becoming a CRNA, becoming your dream, become passionate, become compassionate to your patients, of course provide an art of anesthesia that you're gonna love doing for the rest of your life. Well, for me, that's how I feel. But you can do it too. So just remind yourself, it's gonna be a long road in front of you, but you can do it. You know, you're gonna to have to go become a nurse. You gotta become a bachelor's prepare registered nurse. And that is a difficult part. Some schools are very competitive. But don't ever say to yourself that this one school's not gonna accept me and that's the end of my road. No, you're gonna work hard. You're gonna apply to multiple schools if you have to and you're gonna keep trying. Because I know sometimes being rejected can be a harsh feeling on your ego, but I believe that yes, we have to silence that ego and keep pushing through it. Because to be successful, the most successful people in the world have worked hard, have come from nothing, okay? And you can do it. You can do it today, you can do it now. Start thinking about it. Start the process of becoming a CRNA. Now, when you think about going into the ICU, I do recommend, many of the videos I've spoken to you about, is I recommend you go into the ICU as soon as possible. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, I just graduated as a registered nurse and now I'm gonna go to be an, an ICU nurse. It is gonna be a tough road. It's gonna be three to six months of definitely a lot of learning and growing. But if you get right into it and you throw yourself into the ditches of fire, Somehow you're gonna get out, okay? You're gonna fight to get out, okay? And you're gonna do it. You're gonna have a rocky road, but you're gonna do it and you're gonna be successful. These things for ICU nursing is gonna lay a foundation for you forever, for your whole career in medicine. It's gonna allow you to become a very strong applicant for CRNA school, as well as a strong nurse in general. So no matter what, even if you don't end up becoming a CRNA, say, for example, you change your mind. You're like, you know what? I want to become a nurse practitioner, which is a beautiful thing. It's beautiful to become a nurse practitioner. Or you may say to yourself, you know what? I want to be a doctor. Or I want to be just stay into nursing. Maybe I want to be an educator. Maybe I want to be an administrator. At the end of the day, I see you nursing will lay a foundation for you for your future. You're going to have that critical care knowledge base as well as critical care thinking as well as critical care 
critical care medicine. You're going to know your medications. You're going to learn multiple cardiac drips. You're going to learn a lot of anesthetic drips. You're going to learn a lot about intubation, extubation, how to manage a patient on a ventilator. You're going to learn how to deal with patients who are going into different procedures. You're going to be there for their family and you're going to educate their family. You're also going to be there for your patients, but you're going to see your patients from the moment that they're asleep and you will have moments you'll see your patient progress to be healthier. May not be healthier in our eyes, but at least be medically managed and optimized. Now, when you think about going into become a CRNA, you're gonna have to go to CRNA school, and you think that this road to becoming a CRNA was difficult being in the ICU as well as trying to apply to CRNA school, that is just the beginning. That is just the foundation. But when you go into CRNA school and into a nurse anesthesia program, it is gonna be a hard road. And I believe that your ICU experience will allow you to ease your transition right into um, nurse anesthesia, and you can do it. But just gotta remind yourself, yes, I got accepted into nurse anesthesia program and I am gonna do it, but it's gonna be a rocky road. A lot of, a lot of people who are in nurse anesthesia school they are not young. A lot of them could be in their 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s, and that's okay. Some people, when they are in ICU nursing, they're in ICU nurse for one or two years, while most applicants have been in ICU nurse for many years. Not to say that that's going to be you, but that's just to let you know that you may be older, like I am, and you might be in a career where you're saying to yourself, man, if I, go into the, if I go into the ICU, if I go into become like a CRNA, am I going to be too old? No, you're not going to be too old. It doesn't matter your age. Age is just a number. It's about how you're mentally thinking. It's about your mindset. It's about your future. It's about your goals and what you want out of life. You know, you don't want to end up being in your 60s, having maybe a midlife crisis and saying to yourself, ah, oh, if I had just pushed through it, I could have done it. And you can do it. I believe you can do it. I mean, you're here listening to me on YouTube. That means you have some inkling of saying to yourself, hmm, maybe I want to become a nurse. Maybe I want to become an ICU nurse. Maybe I want to become a CRNA. So for you to listen to me today, I am very proud of you. And I'm very excited to, to you to be a part of this YouTube channel because I am here for you. And I feel like this love that I want to share to all of you. Because I, at the end of the day, I remember being an ICU nurse, I remember applying to CRNA school and I remember the road, but I also know the road to success. And there's lots of secrets out there, but no one's telling you about them. But I'm here to let you know what you need, what you need to do and work hard and be successful because it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard. But remember, the mind is very powerful. And you will see that when you're an ICU nurse. You see these patients sick, but the mind, I feel it really is powerful and you can do it. And so just believe in yourself and take the steps to success. So if you want to learn more about CRNAs and how to grow your CRNA career, definitely click one of these videos over here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.